Hello, welcome back. I've been disappeared for a couple, no, three weeks because first of all, we got a lot going on. New proposal, new project, and a lot of, uh, because of for futures now, we wanted to focus on futuristic. And seems like, except VR, there's nothing too futuristic going on. I didn't go any, I went to virtual market. I was, huh? Okay. Yeah, VCAT 2022, it was really fun. And so, today, no, two days ago, I checked online and then I saw this festival, our festival, Quantum Art Festival. I got really excited because that for us is futuristic and it's something we want to explore for a very long time. So, of course, the quantum computing thing is something my partner is very interested in for a while and then he keep telling me the story. And the, so this event is about quantum, the researcher researching about quantum and related to the representative of art which is something I wanted to know more, I want to understand more, I want to explore more, I want to research more. So yeah, very excited. Sorry about the sound. We're in the middle of Lokongi and that's where the event is. It's around Christmas, so there's a lot of people outside. Okay, let's go check. Feel cute there. <laughs> Love the backpacks. <laughs> that's the gallery. Axis, Axis, yeah, I think that's how you call it. Pronounce it. Quantum Art Festival. Yes, fourth floor. So I'm trying to show, like, trying to, like, this is designer. Right. right. To tell people what is quantum, uh -huh. easy, uh -huh. like easier to understand. Okay. But so, like, like, like what we talk about, he thinks that's impossible. <laughs> okay. It's more like using uh, metaphor right. to kind of explain, but not exactly. So, yeah, there's a lot of. So, this is the art. Mm. Mm. No, this is like, a, like a design. Question based on the, yeah, they are asking questions and people answering the ah. question. So, like, a, what is the quantum color? Yeah. Okay. Quantum space color. Quantum space color. Oh. So, what, what do people answer? Oh, because it's, it's, it's a lot of different questions. Oh. So people are doing different things. <laughs> this is what? It's a design of quantum behavior. Wow. It's a, it's a yeah. string for piano? No. Yeah, it's kind of like oh. a, this is all the Japanese expression that like kind of makes sense. Okay. So like but it's not not really the theory, you just uh -huh. understand. It's an expression yeah, for you, certain. Like you feel right. I think right. you feel right. Okay. So it's, maybe the feel right is something about quantum. Wow, so abstract. I know. Yeah, Van de Beek Falls, or Art and Science. Art and Science. Yeah. And then, yeah. Right. Are they doing any experiment? <laughs> So this is all tiny circles. Yeah, it's like uh, it's each one is like a sphere. Right. Black and white. Uh huh. Half -half. Right. So yeah. Oh, but why are some of them like this? Because it's sphere. Ah. It's not dot. Ah. That's, I think that's showing ah. quantum. <laughs> okay. It's not dot. If it's the dot, it's like a regular computer, black and white, zero one. Ah. Right? The regular computer using like zero or one. Mm. Everything, all the calculation using zero or one, mm. true or false. Right. But yeah, the quantum computing is yeah, this is all uncertain. 
Right. Like, like uh, in, in the middle ground. There's a middle ground. <laughs> like this. The middle ground is valuable. Wow, yeah, interesting. That's what I wish for here. Cool. Yeah. Like a moon. Right. Sphere. Yeah. Wow. I think this show is to let people understand more about quantum. Yeah. Yeah. And I like the I like the way they represent it. It's very mysterious. I think this also shows this is not really you still can see but right. it's kind of divided. Right. Like uncertainty. uncertainty. <laughs> They don't have English. Hmm, that's sweet. Uh, quantum computing homework? Homework. I think uh, homework in this time is more the things to, the, the things have to solve. Basically, the issues right now they have, they have yeah. to figure out. So, yeah. so what's the homework now for quantum? First, homework uh, is if you want to use quantum mm. as a computer, mm. you always have to reset the quantum before calculate. Oh. Because quantum is... We're so, always changing. Yeah, so we have to make sure zero, not zero, yeah, but zero. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and second? Second is uh, uh, universal maneuver. Because it's, the quantum is very hard to control. Control control well and calculate right. Wow. Especially okay. like no like try to make it no error. Oh, oh, this is so hard. This <laughs> homework is very hard. Yeah. <laughs> and then third one is like have to re read the right. Oh. Like, it's just like you're not precise enough basically. Also, right, right, yeah. right. People still don't figure out why, how why they move like that, but uh, people already know it's the fact they move like that, like the fact. Right, they are. So if people control the movement, mm. then yeah, quantum computing will be usable. Mm. Mm. They have to make it bigger. Mm. Like now it's too small. Like, now it's like 100 some quantum. Right. Okay, that this IBM using. And IBM, some, yeah, yeah, IBM is doing research. 130 and some mm. quantum bits. Mm. But they need like 10,000 oh. quantum bits or something too. Okay. 10,000 or 100,000. Like that. <laughs> so how? How? Very, that homework, very, when you think can achieve? I don't know, that's why. Right. Yeah, this is very big. So that's why come to six problem. Huh. Have to be carbon neutral, right? Have to be eco friendly. Ah, okay. Yeah. So now they're using this tiny bit quantum computing. Is you have to freeze it basically. Oh. Freeze all this quantum under like sub zero temperature. <laughs> but if you want to use like, big one, big one, you have to, you need like a almost like classroom big size of free freezer. <laughs> like make it sub zero temperature. Oh. Like minus 300 some Celsius or something. That's why at this point it's just art. So yeah, that's why they, the but that's very not eco-friendly. Right. <laughs> they have to make it. Like, so this is a representative of how difficult it is. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Okay, here's another one. I think this is all in this booklet. They gave you a booklet. I don't understand. I should use in Japanese. Okay, you can use. You can yeah. use translation. Later. Yeah. <laughs> this is the work of. Mm. Student work? No, he's a researcher. Oh, he looks so young. Yeah. He looks like a student. Yeah. <laughs> researcher. Oh. Interesting graphic. Yeah, he's a uh, um, quantum computing. Mm. You have to move each electron, electron, like very precisely. Okay. And you like very small 
from precise pumps. Oh. I don't know how to say it in English. Oh, like that's mono the represent. Electro, yeah, mono electro pump. Okay. It's a zero point one nanometer. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's so small. Mm. Oh, so it's like super uh, micro. Yeah. Okay. But so this this art is to re represent how precise. Yeah, and this is a retro. Ah. Mm -hmm. This is about camera. Oh, it's like, a, like I said, if you until you confirm mm. this quantum is. Not confirmed. <laughs> right? Right. But once you open it, this unconfirmed situation, un unconfirmed is state is confirmed. Mm, confirmed. Uh -huh. So it kills the possibility, kind of. Oh, that's so crazy. it's like uh, si similar with film. Right. It's like if you open film, not the in film dark room. Gone. Right. <laughs> so what is the dark room environment for Ponson? Mm -hmm. Not open. You can't control. No. Mm. That's crazy. The researchers for Ponson, I respect because I think it's really hard. While we are, we think our life is so still, sometimes nothing happens, but there are tons of things happening at the same time. It makes sense because this paper for us doesn't move. But it is easy to keep moving on some level. Yes. This paper. Yeah, everything. Everything. Lower everything. Maybe that's just as I don't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think this whole show is a very entry level of explaining with what we can express, like graphics or picture or like camera, something already exists to explain, to express, right? What is quantum in artistic, uh, easier to understand expressions. Yeah, but you also have to understand artistic approach because if you don't know artistic approach, it doesn't make any sense. Right, true. Yeah. yeah, you have to have certain art understanding. That's cool. I want to see what the researchers do in like five, ten years. Maybe it don't even take that long. So because of copyright issue, we can't really show the art. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, can you explain about this one? Not, yeah. yeah, this is about like the quantum entanglement. Oh, the quantum enta entanglement. Yeah, yeah you talk yeah. about like teleportation. Mm. What is the small? Because in the video, it's keep moving. Yeah, because it's entanglement. <laughs> entanglement. Louder. <laughs> yeah. so in the, they predict the future. Oh, okay. After quantum computing used in society. Okay, what is it? Yeah, like use a digital twin. Uh-huh. Four. Oh. And uh, I think all this physics calculation, everything. Yeah, I think, yeah, VR experience would be much better. Right. It's because this, it's not yeah, made with... How light moves. Things move now is like now it's all calculating like zero one, it's a programmed. Mm. I think it'll be more precise calculation of right. all these phys phys physics events, right? Okay, drop something while it lies. Right. So you can predict what's going to happen in the future more precisely mm. because all the Everything you can calculate with the with quantum. Yeah. Like That's a future. Like nature events. Uh, cool. More precisely, yeah. So as I experienced the show and hearing my partner explaining the idea of the quantum and how the researchers 
making the graphics and why they're doing this way, I start to get a better understanding of this quantum world. It is indeed a topic that is very unfamiliar for a lot of people, but has this huge potential and it gives a sense of hope also a dimension of abstract. I think the most understandable graphics that I really like is the flyer, the sphere of each dot showing the uncertainty. And the, but you also have to have a basic idea of what the computer is made from zero one, uh, one zero, yes, uh, true or false. But I, if you don't have the basic idea of how computer works, this also somehow doesn't make sense. Um, and since this is a quarter of the show, one fourth, I hope to see more coming up. And I really want to know how you think and what you feel about quantum and of this <laughs> feeling right. Remember the first part we we're talking about? And if you have any ideas, questions, please comment on our video. And I'd like to hear what you think about after seeing this show that I explained. I'm sorry because of copyright issues, I cannot show the graphics, but the photo. If you're interested, I've heard in a month, the artist, the researcher will post their animations online. And as the founder of Film Artists, my own company, I've always run to build a connection between art and tech and seeing how artists using creative ways to express the tech world or how tech can help artists express their work. There are tons of things are, we can do at this moment and to throw a mysterious and uncertain topic like quantum give us a lot of hope about the future and I really truly believe in it. So while well, after we're walking around Rupungi, seeing the Christmas light and experience the lights and I start actually question a lot of things how my eyes seeing things and how many tiny tiny micro elements are moving around in this world <laughs> so I guess it's really just open up your mind open up for all possibilities all the things that are happening in around us I either we can see or not hopefully this is inspiring for you in some way and that's it for today's video. If you like what we talk about, if you're interested in our work and the topics we're talking about, and if you have any uh, comments or questions, ideas, advice for this channel or for anything related to art and technology, please comment on our video and please subscribe our channel for new updates every month. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not being super productive on this channel, but I am constantly thinking what kind of value I can bring to you guys and share what we know, the newest, the latest information we got that is futuristic, fun, playful. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.